Hi, my name is Katie O'Brien, and today I'm going to be talking about the importance of sleep. Heart attack, diabetes, high blood pressure, stroke, heart failure. Now these are all things that could occur that are associated with sleep deprivation, according to a study done by the Cleveland Clinic in 2020. By the end of the speech, I hope you all recognize why sleep is so important and why to make it a priority. Sleep affects everyone because everyone needs sleep to survive and live a healthy life. I have found that the more I sleep, the better I feel and the better day I have. Sleep is defined as a naturally recurring state of mind and body characterized by altered consciousness, inhibited sensory activity, reduced muscle activity, and inhibition of nearly all voluntary muscles during the REM cycle. Sleep is necessary to allow your mind and your body to recharge and refresh. Not getting this sleep will lead to more health problems in the future. You need to make a quality night of sleep a priority. The National Sleep Foundation advises that a healthy adult gets between seven and nine hours of sleep every day. While teens, younger children, babies are recommended to get even more than that seven to nine, so that'd be 10 plus hours of sleep a night. Now, making sleep a priority is the best way to sleep better. By budgeting hours throughout your day and making sure that you have a slotted time where you know you're going to go to sleep and you know you're going to wake up, sets for a more regulated day and for your body to regulate that sleep time. Now, sleep hygiene is super important and many need to improve their sleep hygiene. Sleep hygiene, that means that both the bedroom that you sleep in and the daily routines before bed lead to a consistent and uninterrupted sleep. I like having a glass of tea. So this is a uh, herbal tea. It's no caffeine and it's chamomile soothing mint. And I like to use a memory foam pillow before, well, sleeping obviously, not before sleeping, but it just sets a good tone and it makes me feel comfortable in my room and I know I have that to look forward to every night. Now, without interrupted sleep, your body can begin to experience serious stress on your mind and your body. Luckily for us, sleep alleviates those problems. So getting the right amount of sleep will alleviate any of those mental or physical problems. When there's a lack of sleep, the amount of stress hormones called cortisol that are released in the body are significantly increased. High stress levels lead to affecting the body, the quantity, and the amount of sleep that you get, which kind of creates a vicious cycle. Your immune system is affected as well, which leads to you getting sick and leads to a longer recovery time as well. Now, letting your body rest is very important because your body's processes need time to reset as well, just like as you do before, after a long day. The time you sleep allows for your body to let um, your hormones and your mood balance as well as process the memories and experiences you had throughout the day um, as well as reset your energy levels. Now, without letting your body heal and have time for your body's processes to reset, you can begin to develop sicknesses and problems. Now, not getting the right amount of sleep nightly can lead to small health, small and big health problems. The short-term problems that can occur because of not getting enough sleep would be lack of alertness, excessive daytime sleepiness, impaired memory, relationship stress as well. If you're in a bad mood, it'll affect your relationship and without getting enough sleep, you'll probably be in a bad mood all the time. There are long-term effects that can occur due to lack of sleep as well. Um, like I stated in my introduction, heart attack, diabetes, high blood pressure, stroke, as well as obesity, depression, and heart failure, all because of not getting just enough sleep. Chronic sleep deprivation can lead to changes in your appearance as well, like under eye bags, as well as wrinkles on your face prematurely. Now, a lack of sleep is related to the increase in cortisol, which is the stress hormone in your body. And the cortisol eats away at all of the, the collagen in your skin, which keeps it tight and firm and young looking. So get some sleep if you don't want to look wrinkly. Though sleep may be something that many people think is optional or something they can put off because it's not that important, I hope this information that I've given you today really shows that it is vital if you want to have a healthy life. Sleep is necessary to allow your mind and your body to recharge and refresh. Not getting the sleep that you need will lead to many problems in the future. 
It is important that you make an effort every day to get a quality night's sleep and so that alleviates all the possible health problems that, as well as the physical and mental stress on your body. With all this information given today, I hope that it pushes you to become more uniform in your nighttime routine and give yourself some time to reset and recharge for your next day. Making sure that you get a good night's rest isn't a difficult task by any means. It's just about discipline. And it is important for long-term well-being as well. Thomas Decker once said, sleep is the golden chain that ties health and bodies together. If you want a healthy life, then there's no better option than sleep. Thank you for listening to my speech.